This project started last, well, it actually started this week last year, the discussions of how we could work with this school to bring design and the design thinking and design process to young students in early education. And we started the process and kind of developed the plan of what we were going to do as we went. I was wondering who initiates this wonderful project. The, 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 the creative consultant, the Ara Leiden, mm -hmm. uh, is a, uh, Renata Rue is a friend of mine, and she said she knew the people at the school at Columbia, and they were discussing this. And she wanted to know if we would participate to try to make the project more real for the students. And uh, design education is so important to our company. We've done so many other projects trying to work with students, usually older students, like college students, uh, and working with young designers that I immediately said, this sounds like a great idea. Let's figure out the best way to make this a, a real experience for the, for the young students. So it was you have this kind of thinking in mind, and then there is some kind of activity also coming up, and then it's just like a spark. Is that? That, that was, that in, in this particular situation, I have started uh, several other design education programs. We do uh, one that we're presenting this year, the fifth anniversary of a design studio uh, with Art Center College of Design in Pasadena where we work with college students showing them what it's going to be like to work with a real client. So we'd had uh, a lot of experience in the education field. The idea that we could take it to younger children seemed fantastic. I have three children this age myself and this is, I thought, w what a wonderful thing if my children were able to do this. So it seems to be very interesting. One of the reasons we're so interested in education is to bring a sense of the practical and a sense of the real world to the educational process. We typically learn, we typically, our students are taught in specific segments. So they learn English, they learn math, they learn art. They learn all these things and they learn them in isolation, one at a time, being able to bring the real world to any situation, whether it's to an eighth grader or to a, a high school kid or to a college student, that, that experience with the real world makes all of the stuff, all the other stuff fall in place and they can understand it so much better. So it, it works so well that we want to participate in it. Yes. Yes, university level. They're 14 year olds, yes. I was so curious about what what you see from working with these kids. What are they better than university students or what do you see? The to me they're exactly the same. When they're doing, and I work with a lot of uh, very well-known, internationally successful designers who have great careers, and when you're going through the process of design, it really doesn't matter whether you're 14 or 22 or 50, the process is the same. And the students, it was the same situation. They would have great ideas. We're gonna do this and this and this. And then they would come back and they, were, they would say, oh, we realized we couldn't do that. We had to find another way to solve this problem. So they were able to self-correct their ideas and come up with a solution that really worked the same way an experienced veteran designer would be able to do that. It's the most fun because particularly you see what they're what they're learning and how excited they are about it. And I'm also, I think it's really important that uh, we teach young people how things are made now. Most young people 
don't know how things are made. We don't make things anymore in this country. We don't make our own clothes. We don't, generations of people have learned how things were made. This generation, they see something on the internet, uh, they can click and buy it, and, uh, the, and then it appears, and never has there been a thought process about how something is actually made, nor have they learned to evaluate whether this is a good product or a bad product. So seeing them discover all this, fantastic. Actually, the, what we saw at the beginning was the opportunity to have their lessons, all their individual lessons, math, science, art, reading, verbal skills, to be able to give them something that would make it all seem very practical. That they would be writing about why we should buy this tennis shoe, why it's cool, that, they, that they're learning, that there would be a context for learning, rather than learning the square root of 25. Okay, how can you use that? Um, our company, Bernhard Design, is 126 years old, I believe. Uh, it's a family company in North Carolina, and it's still owned by the same family, and has made furniture the entire time for 126 years. And uh, our portion of the company, it's a large company that makes different types of furniture for the home, uh, for hotels, our, our, our company, Bernhard Design, makes uh, uh, very high quality contemporary furniture uh, for public spaces or homes or uh, airports, anywhere where you really need high quality good contemporary furniture. I've been with the company for 23 years. It's the only job I've really ever had outside of university. I took the job of me really just when I was beginning my career and I've stayed with the fa with this family company for 23 years. Now I was actually a cinema major, uh, a movie making cinema. Does that make, that, that's strange, right? So, so I, disco I discovered this industry by accident. Someone, Oh, I knew nothing about this industry, and I went. Do you do you say the word headhunter, recruiter, the person that tries to get you a job? Uh, a recruiting person sent me to a job in design by mistake, and I walked in and I started talking to the people, even though there wasn't a job, and thought this is the coolest industry because to me it was the closest you could get to a creative industry that was still a business. Mm -hmm. It wasn't it, it wasn't all creative and it wasn't all business. It was this marriage of the two things and I thought that was so interesting. Yeah. Yeah.